We've been in this building for over six months now, and it's true to say that we have changed the way we work through the technology we have employed. The challenge was that we were actually building from the ground up. We had no template for this. We were trying to do something quite unique. We wanted to demonstrate the principles of One Planet living throughout the building. That is living within the constraints of the Earth's natural resources. Can technology be part of a sustainable workplace? And could this be done for one of the world's leading green charities? WWF got together with Cisco and Dimension Data to design and implement a complete technology solution for the new building. It was the biggest ICT project this organisation had undertaken in its 50-year history. Much of the technology that we used in the building had actually been used before, but never collectively. It had never been brought together in one space and under the umbrella of sustainable IT. WWF have been a fantastic partner for us because actually they set us some real challenges both for the way they work every day, so how can they do that in a more sustainable, more flexible way, as well as of course use that technology to actually be more effective in the things they do out in the field. We've introduced Cisco's unified communication solution, which is Java software on laptops with private headsets, and that's allowed us to have a complete clear desk policy. The whole partnership with the World Wildlife Fund all started through a conversation at an event that WWF was sponsoring and Cisco was invited to join and the conversation started and it was all around video technology but we realised really quickly that it was more than just video, we could provide the whole infrastructure for the Living Planet Centre. Video conferencing is a feature we were very keen to introduce in as many places as possible in the building. We want people to move out of their cars, not travel by aeroplane, to meet virtually in a space that is effective and they can collaborate and communicate in a much better and effective way. One of the challenges we faced was to cool the building and heat the building in the most sustainable way. So we've employed technologies like the ground source cooling that uses pipes that go down into the earth and use air that's at a constant temperature of approximately 12 degrees Celsius. So in the summer that gives us free cooling and in the winter that gives us free heating effectively. This combined with ducts that remove stale and hot air from the building in the summer, all connected up through our networks, provide us with a very technically complex but very sustainable building in terms of managing its environment from light levels to heating and cooling. Dimension Data donated consultants' time to help us design the solutions and help us implement the solutions as well. And it's probably true to say that we would not have achieved what we did achieve without the time that Dimension Data donated to us. When we had the opportunity to work with WWF on this project, it ticked all of our boxes in terms of what we're looking to achieve around our philosophy towards our green agenda. The server room was designed deliberately small. We didn't want to cool a huge space. We wanted a very efficient system that we could demonstrate and that technology doesn't have to be in a freezing temperature in which for it to work. The whole idea of the use of technology is enabling an environment that is conducive to that ambition, to that drive, that intent. It's just a great example of what can be achieved when you're deploying smart technologies into a building like this. I want to be able to be proud, not only today, but for five years in the future of the use of technology and sustainable IT that we can promote and demonstrate in our headquarters. WWF is one of the great hopes for the world. And this new building not only enshrines that, but projects it to visitors.